Rounds 19, 20 and 21 of the FIA Formula 3 European Championship take place here at the Moscow Raceway. Opened in 2012, the track is located around 80 kilometres northwest of the Russian capital in Moscow. This 3.9 kilometre circuit as we're about to get race one underway. Anti-clockwise direction then as Esteban Ocon turns into turn one in the lead. This though is Max Verstappen getting past Tom Blomqvist for P3 off of turn 13. Brilliant move by Max Verstappen. Now, of course, he needs to maximise the uh, points haul that he can take from every single round as he continues his charge towards the championship leader, Esteban Ocon. He must be happy with that. Uh, he was struggling a bit in the beginning and um, I had a good exit coming out of the, coming out of the, uh, before the straight. And um, yeah, I had a good a break late into the last corner and yeah, it's, he couldn't do anything. So um, yeah, that was important because otherwise I think it was really difficult to uh, get past. One of the slogans that Max Verstappen has is that overtaking is an art and he's proved that and so too Gustavo Menezes now as he's up the inside of Jules Simkoviak in exactly the uh, same place. So a brilliant move there from Gustavo Menezes as they cross the line though, it's Esteban Ocon that takes the win. Followed by Jordan King and Max Verstappen then with a podium place. Prima Power team are happy, no surprise there. The happiest man of all though is gonna be this man, Esteban Ocon as he stands atop his car and celebrates his victory in race one here at Moscow. So let's get race two underway then. Antonio Fuoco's the car you can see there. That's actually P2 on the grid on the left-hand side. You can see how Esteban Ocon has had no problem from P1, but Fuoco has to defend a charge from Tom Blomqvist. And Max Verstappen has got a problem. The Van Amersfoort racing driver has issues. And the car brought back into the pit lane just when we were saying he has to maximise his uh, points haul, chasing down Esteban Ocon. He has a problem. We had the alternator broke down, so it was really disappointing because I, I could take a lot of uh, points home, what is important for the championship, but unfortunately we couldn't finish. Well, he has a smile on his face, I suspect that. Uh, deep down, though, utter disappointment for Max Verstappen, but not so for Esteban Ocon, who takes win number two here in Russia. And onto the podium as Esteban Ocon receives his trophy, Antonio Fuoco P2, and Tom Blomqvist is P3. So here we go then with race three here at the Moscow Raceway, and it's becoming a bit of a habit, isn't it? Uh, pole sitter Esteban Ocon stays again in front. There's a jump start from Tom Blomqvist. That will become a drive-through penalty, and he will lose his uh, P2 place. Lucas Auer and Jordan King get together here and Lucas Auer goes flying in the all-orange Mucca Motorsport car. And here, well, flying is the temper that Lucas Auer is in as he discusses that move with Jordan King. In the end, though, it's going to be Esteban Ocon that makes it three out of three at the Moscow Raceway, followed by Verstappen and Fuoco. Yeah, it was a great weekend, three out of three. Uh, it's brilliant. Uh, three pole also. Uh, we did a fantastic work, uh, only last race, they only came back a little bit. But, um, but yeah, it's good and it's, uh, it's uh, good for the championship too. So three poles, three wins and Esteban Ocon on 379 points with Max Verstappen now on 263. Ocon then, a perfect weekend. The next race is the Red Bull Ring, Spielberg in Austria. The first weekend in August. Bye-bye for now.